I'm finally gonna be taking out the Talaria XXX for its first test ride after installing the nuclear P24F controller. I'm actually gonna be meeting a couple people from District Nomads for a group ride today. And I know a lot of those guys ride Surons and Talarias, so we'll have some similar bikes to compare to. But before we do that, I'm gonna take this thing for a quick spin around the block just to get an idea if the speedometer is actually accurate. I'm gonna test it on my Cyclops Plus speedometer just cause I know that that reads pretty accurately. I also wanna see if there are any changes to the top speed before we start messing with the settings later on today. Shout out to Mario Madness for helping me out on figuring out how to change the speedometer from kilometers to miles per hour. If you are curious on how to do that, you just go to main menu, onboard computer, main screen setup, speed unit, and from here you can change from kilometers to miles per hour. <gasps> Before we test top speed, I'm just gonna change the throttle setting. I'm gonna change that to speed. Okay, there's definitely a huge torque delivery difference at the low throttle. I can't say I'm fully in love with it. There's quite a dead spot at the beginning of the throttle. It's a lot of torque down low. Still 48.2 miles an hour, so there's no difference in top speed. <laughs> Yo, how you doing, man? How you doing? Good. Just got here? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it didn't really change too much with the top end, but it's it's got a lot of low-end torque. Oh, but yeah. I was hoping, um, Brooks messaged me that he had some sort of different map on him uh -huh. that he wants to try out. Maybe so. just a little bit of tune, maybe. Have you actually tried? Oh, oh shit! shit. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. Five, yeah. Five modes. Five modes. Power. What else? Power and torque. torque. I think that's just like a in between those two. Okay. Torque, torque. Speed and torque. Speed and torque. What's up, Rook? I apologize, sir. It has what? been a very hectic morning. It seems just weird, man. What's going on with it? Uh, on mode three, it's like the one first one third of the throttle. It just dumps the torque. So it's just not that drivable. So they don't come with uh, tuned files on them because it's kind of marketed where you get a P24F. Yeah. Which goes to a triple X, a Suron, an MX4, an MX3. Right. And then you get the adapters to plug it in and it's up to you to put the files on there kind of. Right. So I'm going to go ahead and start with giving you firmware. So they have a telegram. Yeah. Uh, it's actually really kind of cool to watch. They, they're all of their support things. You could watch as they troubleshoot problems with people. Their English isn't the best. But they, they they hit it and they hit hard and try to figure out problems and stuff. Your controller, why is your mount different? Is that like one of their... Mine was the prototype. Mine was oh, yours the was the... His, his oh, was, really? Yeah, yeah we, we the made That's the, awesome. the whole idea here uh, and sent them the 3D files and everything. Yeah. They thought it was nice, but ultimately they ended up buying their own bikes so that they could make a much nicer, cleaner fit. I'm going to steal his tune from his bike and throw it on yours. So Tyler has the experimental firmware yeah. or the experimental uh, config, which is where they pre-config the battery settings, the throttle settings, all that stuff for the XXX battery. So you stay under the BMS pull and everything works properly together. And then he's tweaked it a little bit just to kind of get a little more out of it. And that's supposed to be, what is it, 110 continuous? Right about there, yeah. Yeah. How'd you learn how to do all this? Uh, I read the manual. <laughs> of course. <laughs>
<laughs> I'm so damn impatient sometimes. Right. I think that worked. Oh man. Thank you. Man, I no, go run. <laughs> tell me how no, you I, feel I, I mean, I can already <laughs> say. I... Thank you, man. Let's it see. feels. Oh, yeah, bro. <laughs> Thank you. Thank. I owe you a beer today. <laughs> Okay, we are back in Virginia. I want to test out this modified map that was on Kyler's bike that uh, Brooks helped me load on. I have the throttle setting set to speed. So I just want to see if there's an, any sort of difference in top speed in this modified map. So you can see it is very wet outside. It's been raining, but I can't wait to see if there's any sort of change. The way they have it set up, this is maximizing the amount of power output possible with the factory battery. Okay, I hope you guys appreciate the amount of dedication I have to testing this because I am soaking wet right now. Let's see what the top speed is under the different throttle mode. I'm going to test it in power. This is the torquiest one that's available. I'm going to take it easy coming from a stop. Holy shit, that is a lot of torque. the throttle mode back to speed and torque since that seems to be the most predictable yep 
Yeah, it's a lot easier to ride in speed and torque. Hi. Are you soaking wet already? I'm so I'm so freaking wet right now. But um I just took this thing out for a top speed oh, run. Dude, I bet it fucking rips. If I click on power, mm -hmm. like <laughs> see the uh, like I, I don't I, what am I supposed to do with that? Yeah. <laughs> so, That's wild. It's uh and this is still with the stock battery. Yeah. So what's the verdict? Is the bike faster? 49.4 miles an hour. A little bit. It's 1.2 miles an hour higher top speed with this new tune that Brooks was able to pull from the prototype bike. But I think the more noticeable change is how much torque this thing has down low and the overall power delivery. This controller allows you to have multiple maps and different throttle curves. It also allowed them to make changes to the tune to make it draw as much power as possible from the factory battery. But it's pretty much tapped out at this point. But good thing we just got our packages from Charge Cycle Works. This is my 74 volt, 44 amp hour high power battery and a matching charger. So we're gonna be putting those on tomorrow morning and we're gonna be testing this bike out with the 74 volt setup all weekend. So make sure you stay tuned for that. Shout out to Brooks and Kyler for hooking it up with the Prototype Bikes tune. If you enjoyed today's video, do me a favor and hit that like button. And if you like this kind of content, want to keep up with the Talaria XXX 74 volt build, my Yamaha or my Razor projects, consider subscribing to this channel. But this is going to be it for today. Thank you for watching.